Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful Rabbit Hole, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. What exactly is up with Pretendos right now? It's really weird seeing these guys try, seriously try, and say that like, oh, the Switch is old, it's outdated, it's underpowered, third parties will not be able to put games on it. What third-party games are you so heavily anticipating that its lack of presence on Switch will cause you to, like, drop your console? There's nothing, essentially. All the biggest, most hype games are all coming to Nintendo Switch. There, there is nothing on other platforms that I, I, mean, I am even remotely interested in. Everything on other platforms could easily run on Nintendo Switch. I, I don't understand this mindset, this... this um, idea that Pretendos have is that the Switch or, or Nintendo hardware is so alien and so different that developers cannot put games on it because for the past five years we have been seeing a wide range of great third-party games on Nintendo hardware. We've been getting a lot of them actually and I this idea that like they're eventually going to stop coming that I've been seeing for years now it's just never, ever actually come true. There's, there's been no hype, big AAA games on other platforms since, like, what, 2017? It's been, like, a slow decline. You know, we've had to deal with stuff like, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2, Doom Eternal, stuff like that. But none of that is, like, really relevant in any way, shape, or form. You know, like, we're kind of reaching the point where these big, iconic video game franchises cannot compete with Nintendo because they simply do not release frequently enough. Like, Nintendo can put out Pokemon games, like, three Pokemon games a year and have them all sell, like, 10 million units. Meanwhile, Doom Eternal can't even sell, like, what, a tenth of what Animal Crossing did? Releasing on the same day? People have the wrong mindset. It's not that... Nin Nintendo not only can compete with third parties, they're destroying them. Like, third parties are missing out by not supporting Nintendo hardware. Like, Nintendo is not losing anything if third parties refuse to put games on their console. Like, all that's going to happen is that, like, people are just going to download the game on Game Pass and never actually play it. They're going to wait for a Steam sale and then buy and play it. If that, honestly. Like, I think the only people right now who are actually buying and playing video games are Nintendo owners. So as a result of that, for, like, the actual dedicated gamer, someone who's into the hobby for more than just, like, has more than just a passing interest in the hobby, the only viable alternative right now is the, is the Nintendo Switch because it has all the best games. It is – it has, like, all these – all these unique features, it has all this, like, unique capabilities that other car pieces of hardware cannot match. Nintendo Switch is the best gaming platform on the planet right now, and we are still, in 2022, almost 2023, still fighting with a group of dedicated fanboys who refuse to admit that they've lost. Nintendo has won the console war.